meet the future of women's tennis. That's the confident prediction of this man, Thomas Hogstead, and he should know. He's coached the likes of Lee Nahr, Caroline Wozniacki and Maria Sharapova. And he has no problem in making the brash claim that Isabella Kruger, aged eight, and sister Zoe, aged 11, are child prodigies destined to win Grand Slam tournaments. I'm 100% sure that these two girls have a big chance to be number one in the world because they are extremely talented. It's not often you get to see these kind of stars coming up in, in young age and that's why I'm very keen to, to really help them now from early, from really early age. Hogstedt has turned down a number of other opportunities to devote his time to developing the pair. The girls will for the time being stay in South Africa and continue their schooling and coaching. Their ambition is clear, although it appears that is also helped by some sibling rivalry. I want to be number one in the world and I also want to win all the Grand Slams and I won't let my sister beat me. I want to um, win my sister and I want to win the Wimbledon. Great shot, go in there. The sisters have impressive athletics genes given their father, Ruben Kruger, was a 1995 Rugby World Cup winner with the Springboks. Although Reuben died of a brain tumour a few years ago, like their father, the girls are keen to represent their country. He's, he, was one, he was very good, so yeah, I just couldn't see it, but I have some, some clips and stuff I can watch still about him. One day my dream one, one will also be to, to get a gold medal in the Olympics for South Africa. Given the girls' age, it still feels like a bold claim to say that the sisters will one day be the best in the world and will win multiple Grand Slams. Normally, such talent is sheltered from that kind of pressure, but the sisters appear to have embraced it. Yeah, they want it. I mean, it's never I have to force them to, to practice or any of the coaches or, or, or the mom that, they, uh, that when they finish my training, they want to go home and hit against the wall or do other sports. And, and this is what you're looking for when, when you see there's no, no pressure from anyone. They just love to play. Only time will tell if the predictions of immense success will become a reality. But given the track record of Hogstead, it is unlikely the coach would have made such a statement lightly. There you are. Look at that pace. So expect to see a lot more of these two in the future. Dan Williams, CCTV, Johannesburg.